Good evening, everybody. I'm so, so sorry. Well, the few people that are on my page. I'm so, so sorry that I hadn't been posting any videos and I hadn't been doing my exercise because I was on glamour duty. But anyway, I'm here today to drop a video. I don't know if it's going to be short or long. But y'all know how I like to begin my videos. Because I'm always going to honor God. It might not be what everybody believe in. And I'm not nobody's judge or jury. But it's who I believe in and what I believe in. So here we go. Father God, I come to you as humbly as I know how. I ask that you give me more of you and less of myself. Put positive words in my mouth. Positive understanding. Focus. Bring healing to my page, healing to the viewers, healing to me, healing to my family, healing to any of my viewers' families, and healing to this world, Lord. I ask you, please, always surround us in the white lights as Jesus as we go and come. I ask you, please bring inspiration to people's minds, bodies, and souls. And as you please bring wisdom tenderheartedness, caring and kindness as we take this life's journey, Lord. I ask you to please touch us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Touch us mind, body, and soul, Lord. I ask you to please bring healing to us. Please bring healing as we have these conversations, Lord. I don't care if no but one person be touched by my messages, Lord. I ask you to please, please bless them, encourage them, and know that there is a way out of darkness, Lord. I ask you to keep us, cover us minds, body, and souls, Lord. Bring us understanding, Lord. Bring us peace, Lord. Bring us prosperity, Lord. Bring us growth, Lord. Continue to bring us healing, Lord. Bring us from the darkness into your light, Lord. I ask you please restore us and make us whole, Lord. I ask you please cover and keep us in our everyday lives, Lord. And like I said, please bring us understanding, caring, kindness, generosity, better communication, and a more positive outlook on life, Lord. As you restore us, Lord, mind, body, and soul, and make us whole, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, I am so, so sorry. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. I thank you for carrying us on our way, Lord. I thank you for covering, keeping, and protecting our minds, bodies, and souls. I thank you for protecting our family members, Lord. I thank you for protecting our children, Lord. I thank you for protecting us through this coronavirus, Lord. I thank you for your many, many blessings, Lord. I thank you for just being who you are, Lord. I thank you for creating your precious son, Jesus, and for allowing him to die on the cross so that we can be forgiven of our sins, Lord. I thank you. I can never thank you enough, Lord. I give thanks. I give honor and give praise to your name. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm sorry, everybody. I might not be the perfect prayer, but I know God hears my cry and he hears others' cries. But well, anyway, I got on my little makeup today and it ain't always going to be like this. But you can't look rough and bad every day. People might not even take you seriously. But anyway, it ain't about the looks. It ain't about the makeup or not having on makeup. It ain't about your hair. It's about what's deep down on the inside. It's about this healing journey that we're on. But well, anyway, I had a topic that's really, really, really been on my mind, on my heart, and in my spirit, and in my soul. And let me make this clear to anybody that may come across my video. It's about jealousy. And I can honestly say that I have never, and I hope I never will, be walking in a spirit of jealousy. Because I'm a firm believer that the things that you want in life, if you get out and work hard and do the things that are required of you, and you can just be thankful and be happy for somebody else, when it's your time that God see fit, you can be blessed also. But jealousy 
to me is very, very dangerous. Jealous people are dangerous. That spirit of jealousy all by itself is dangerous because it ain't the people. It's a spirit. It's an energy. And when that spirit and energy gets a hope to people, not everybody, y'all, let me say that. Let me make that perfectly clear. Everybody ain't jealous, but you do have a lot of people that are jealous. And that energy is a nasty, low-down, dirty, dark energy that people really, really, and truly need to heal from. But anyway, my face might not always be right in the camera. But let's just talk about it a little bit. I don't even know where to start because I can't stand to get in that energy. And what I mean by that is, like I said, I don't really, I don't really find myself never being jealous of nobody else's blessings of their achievements. I really and genuinely can say that I'd be happy for people. I know that I might not always comment on every little thing that's on my social media um, because I don't be on social media all the time. I be on there on and off. But I can honestly say that I'd be happy of people's achievements, of their success stories, of their um, gifts. I'd be happy about it. But people, please believe, everybody don't be happy for you. Well, anyway, let me give you a little story about myself and about how I sabotage myself. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, years ago, years ago, and it was several years ago, I had a vehicle. Came across some hard times. As a matter of fact, it was a, um, what the vehicle was that? It was, I think it was a, a 929. A Mazda 929. Vehicle won't hit on a hill of beans, messing up all the time, but it was mine and it was almost paid for. And, but it gave me the, the worst problems ever, but I still thank God that I was able to purchase that vehicle. But anyway, Came through some rough times, as usual, you know, ups and downs, a few challenges, and I couldn't pay for the vehicle. So anyway, the vehicle ended up being at the, um, I ended up getting some work done on it, and it didn't run right after that. The heads blew on the, on the um, automobile. Well, anyway, it didn't work right no more after that, but I still owed like $1,900 on it. And of course, me being me. I didn't finish paying the little $1,900, which ruined my credit, but I knew that I needed another another automobile because I had kids, and I needed to get back and forth to work. But anyway, I just let the, um, I just let that car, I don't even know where the car was at, to be honest. Oh, it was back at the man that fixed it anyway. It was back where he, the man that fixed it, that had fixed it. But anyway, you don't know who I'm talking about, so I'm not throwing nobody under the bus, but I'm being honest. So I left it with him, and I got in my feelings a little bit because I didn't know how I was going to get from point A to point B. But anyway, I ended up purchasing another little vehicle that um did me well for a while. It was a little Honda, as a matter of fact, and it did me. I, that vehicle lasted me for a good while, but anyway, it ended up, it ended up messing up. And it probably won't even nothing major, but me panicking, knowing, knowing that I had to go back and forth to my job and I had my kids to take care of, me panicking and knowing I needed an automobile to, to be back and forth. And I, at that time, I was living in Hoffman, so it won't where nobody would just come out and pick you up. But anyway, I had, after I lost that, that, that Mazda, I went into a credit repair person. So I went in and got somebody to start working on my credit because I, I'm telling y'all, and I know this might not be on subject, good credit is a good thing to have. Don't go around sitting around getting things that you can't pay for and not giving those people their money because credit is good to have when you want to pur purchase another automobile or home or even have credit cards to be able to purchase clothes or Walmart cars or anything, or even purchase grass, it's good to have good credit. Please, please, not just young people, all people, because we mess up even being older. Please do not let your credit, do not 
start having that bad credit. Do not let people start messing up your names, signing for things that people are not going to pay for. I didn't ever understand why come I used to get people, want people to co-sign for me until I was older and I started seeing where I did purchase things and I had, I found myself in life, everyday life where I could was in positions that I couldn't pay for them. So now I understand why a lot of times people don't want to co-sign for other people's things because we get in ruts as being humans and we can't pay for things. But anyway, well, I went and got my credit work done. And when I say they did a good job, yes, 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 they did a wonderful job working on my credit. Well, anyway, I got into a rut with this little car my Hyundai had towed up and I didn't know how I was going to be able to purchase another vehicle. How I was going to be able to purchase a vehicle to be, be able to get to and from work. to even just transfer my kids back and forth to the doctor. For me to be able to go back and forth to the doctor. Well, anyway, you can't question God because when he needs, when he when you need him, he comes through. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I was sinning real bad. Doing the things that I don't supposed to. Like I said, I used to be a fighter, cursor. And I still need to clean up this mouth. I'm going to be honest. Ain't no sense in me getting up here lying. But I'm just saying, I was just... In a dark, dark place in my life. And I did know how to pray. And I probably could have prayed a lot more. But when I tell you, I went to a dealership. It was up there in Southern Pines. I'm not going to get to telling y'all no story. It was up there by Walmart. I went on that lot. And I don't know what made me go apply for a automobile. And guess what? It was an SUV. But anyway, I went to the dealership. And my, they had been working on my credit for a while, but I didn't even pay it no mind. I just had, had in panic mode. And I went up here to purchase this automobile. And to be honest with you, I think I asked my daddy to be to um, co-sign for me. And he probably agreed to do it, but I hated to get, I hated to have a co-signer because I didn't ever know when hardships was going to come up in my life because I was just at that place where things weren't always easy at times, but I knew that I was working hard, and I knew that I had to have something, like I said, because I had kids, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, and I was just really, really, really determined to make sure that me and my kids didn't have to go out and be thumb and rise, because we, I knew we stayed far out. It won't like that people wouldn't help me out, but, you know, you... I was self-sufficient and I was independent, and I'm, I wasn't playing them games. I had to have something to make sure me and my kids was good. But anyway, I went, like I said, I went to this dealership and I went and I applied for this, this vehicle. It was an SUV. And I did not want to ask my daddy. I, so I went, I did not want my daddy to have to do it because I did not want to be in a predicament where I had to mess his credit up or nothing. Cause I didn't never know what would come up. Cause I knew that sometimes it, it got a little rough for me. So I applied for this SUV. And sure and behold, they approved my loan. Man, when I tell you, I hooped and I hollered and I jumped and I ran. Ran, my bad. I ran and I praised God because I could not believe it. As bad as my credit was, that thing was shot. Because I did not just lose a car. I had to mess up with Radio Shack. I had them messed up with um, Freedman's. Yeah, I'm putting my business out there because it's my business. It's my story. I had them messed up with a couple of people that was willing to give me credit because, like I said, because of my, my um, I probably was laid off a job or anything. I don't know what it was. Can't remember, but I can tell you I messed up. So I received this SUV. It was an Envoy. i never forget a GMC Envoy. Man, when I tell you I was so happy, and I know it won't nobody but God. And I know I want nobody but God and allowing them people to work on that credit. But I thank you. And I put him first because I know I want nobody but him. Because I couldn't, couldn't even see what them, that repo car I had on there. And them credit cards I didn't pay. I paid them in the beginning. But like I said, when I had yeah, in positions, I couldn't pay them. I didn't pay them. It hurt me, but I didn't pay them. But well, anyway, I was able to receive this SUV. It was white. Y'all, let me tell you what I did. I was excited. I was happy. I was joyous. I got that SUV. Signed my paperwork. Got my tags and everything right. Took my blessing home. And guess what I did? All I went to thinking about was 
all this in it, negative energy that was going to come up against me like a nut. And I can't even pl blame it on people. And I can't even just blame it on jealousy. I blame it on myself because God had blessed me. And I went through the spirit of worrying about what people was going to think about it. What people was going to think about me having this vehicle, vehicle and start letting the jealousy spirit seep in. And not even jealousy, the spirit that the fear is a fear. Now, I can say that because I walk in that spirit of fear. And I can be honest about what I, the energies I do walk in. It ain't jealousy, but it was a spirit of fear. Started getting fearful and foolish because that's what it was, foolish. And started thinking negative thoughts, which brings negative energy and brings negative spirits and dark spirits and unwanted spirits that we don't want to deal with into our lives. Let me tell y'all, when you... Receive a blessing from the Creator. Stop walking in doubt. Stop walking in what somebody else going to think about it. Be excited that God opened those doors for you. That He moved obstacles out of your way. That He blessed you. Do not walk in what the next man going to think, say, or do. Please don't. Don't give nobody else your power because it ain't even always just the other person. It's when you let those spirits in. You let those spirits of doubt in, spirits of unworthiness in, those spirits of lack in. You let those jealousy spirits in and they grab a hold to that fear and it builds and builds and builds because like I said, I'm not a jealous person, but I was walking in fear. And I'm trying to clean that mess up now. I'm telling y'all so that it can help somebody else. Do not never second guess or not never lose your joy in something that God has blessed you with. Because it opens up doors to a whole mess and whole gang of spirits that we don't want to be bothered with. But we in spiritual warfare, y'all, when I tell you we are in warfare, don't let nobody tell you different. I don't care what they say. We are in spiritual warfare. We be under attack every day, every hour, every minute, every second of the day. And we have to know how to pray. We have to know how to be thankful. We have to know how to be happy for other people's blessings because that's the way we are able to receive blessings. You cannot go around here and keep walking in spirits of fear, in spirits of doubt, in spirits of shame, in spirits of hurt, in spirits of jealousy. The people that do walk in that because that is a spirit too. You got to heal from that jealousy. You got to heal from when you start feeling things fester up in your heart. When somebody else receives something and you start feeling that spirit of jealousy come in your heart. You got to stop it in its tracks. Call on God. You have to break that cycle because that is also curses. It's curses that's been put on generations. It's curses that our ancestors had to go through. No matter what ancestors, no matter what color it is, we all have ancestors, everybody. It ain't just us as African Americans. Everybody have ancestors. We all have ancestors. So we have to stop a lot of these strongholds that we've been going through. A lot of these things that Happened way back when that we have no control of, but we have to think today that we enough is enough. That jealousy spirit is a nasty, cold blooded, cutthroat spirit to walk in. You need to heal. I'm telling these to the people that walk around jealous of people, stop it because you're not going to be able to be blessed. Keep on being jealous of somebody else that receives a blessing. Be thankful, be grateful, be thankful to God for what you have so He can elevate you to have more. Like I said on another one of my videos, I want to be successful. I want to be put in the line of success, not just to be greedy, but to be helpful to others. The people that are deserving, people that are out here struggling, know you can't help everybody. You can't help everybody, but there's some people out here that I genuinely want to be put in a position that I can be a help for them. I really, 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 really do, even on this path. Even on this this healing journey I'm on, on this healing journey I'm on for myself, I decided to put my story out there to make this YouTube page. Because even if it ain't but one person, y'all. And I know I have already at least touched one person's life. So I know that God has got to be guiding me through the people that he put in my life. Through me, just want to know who I am. 
He got to be guiding me in the right direction. It don't matter if that many people ain't watching my video, if they ain't like, share, or subscribe. They ain't going to stop my this show that God got me doing because that is not the point. Don't get me wrong now because you speak things into existence. I want to be successful. I want to be successful. I do. I would be lying to y'all if I said that I didn't. I want to be successful. I want my YouTube page to grow. I want it to be out there to the people. But first and foremost... I want to honor God. And I might not always say the right thing. I might not always pray like the next person, but I'm my own individual person. I'm doing it to the best of my ability. And I know I only get better and better in time as I get more confident, more focused, as I pray and meditate more. I know that it only get better. But he's the one. He's the one that I really care about making sure that my messages go out to the people right. And like I said, I, if I only reach one person that's in a real dark place in their life or going through things, I'm happy with that. And I know I have because I have people that told me. I don't have to say they by their names, but they know who they are if they're watching my videos. And I'm, I'm, I thank God. That y'all was able to say that to me. And thank God that y'all ain't walking in the energy of jealousy. I know that though. Because I know that the people I'm lined up with are good people. And it's good in everybody y'all. Don't get me wrong. Even the people that hurt me. Even my enemies. I know that it's good in even my enemies. Because once I'm somebody's enemy. I know that's crazy. I'm somebody's enemy. So it's good in all of us. But these spirits are real. That spirits of jealousy, whoever going through this, and you don't have to say it out loud, but you know who you are. You walk around and you being jealous of somebody, cutthroat, snaking them, you know, because like I said, energies are, uh, energies are real. We in spiritual warfare. When you sit there and be jealous of somebody else, jealous of somebody else that may not even have nothing, they can be walking around here. They can walk, be walking around here with nothing in their pockets but lint. They can be walking around here broke. They can be walking around here broken broken hearted and unhappy but just because they put on a little makeup they want to look a little nice a little fancy and just because you thinking they got it going on you start with that 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 um spirit of fear you got to stop i'm gonna tell you the truth that spirit of fear will take you to your grave will take you to a dark dark place what kind of what are you what are you receiving from being jealous of somebody. I mean, what, 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 what? They ain't doing nothing but taking away from your energy. So why keep going around with the mess? Why keep going around being jealous of other people when you can work hard and get out here and do the same thing? Be happy for people. I mean, I'm serious. We need to really start being happy for one another. We need to be a little more supportive. You might not want to support everybody because I'm going to tell you the truth. Some people just got stinking nasty attitudes and... It could be me sometime. My attitude may not be great because the thing that I need to work on is stop when I'm going through something in my life is to stop, reflect, let that come out in my energy. I need to stop letting letting it affect my kids. They are adults, but they still my kids. They still my minds. Stop letting it affect the people that's around me because they don't deserve that. But I'm really working on it because I don't want to take my frustrations out on other people that don't deserve that. I don't. So that's why come I know that I got to do better myself about praying, fasting, and meditating and doing what I need to do because I really, really, really want a much, much closer connection with God. I really want to walk in this healing path that he had me on. I really, if I'm a beer healer and people might not get it and they might be judgmental, but I really, really, I took my Ricky one healing course and it goes all the way up to four with with my spiritual TT and I hope that I can get all the way up to four and really, really do what I need to do to really start. I did a couple of healings and I did them for free, but I, I intentionally did it for free, but I really, really want to get on up there and really study more and, um, continue to make my jewelry and have my crystals and pray and meditate more people. Everybody don't get it, but I am who I am. And I really, Thank the people that's helping me on this journey. I think thank my kids, my aunties, my sisters, 
Spiritual TT, I love you, I love you, I love you. I know you be watching my videos, you gonna always support us. I really thank you and I appreciate you. I appreciate God sent for sending y'all, each and every one of y'all in my life, even my family members. We might not always talk, or we might not even always get along, but through it all, I, I still love y'all and I hope y'all love me because we have just have so much healing to do. I didn't understand it then before I started growing. I know that I had a lot of anger issues myself, even my mom. We might not always been on track, but mom, I love you. I love you dearly. I hope that you can even start watching my videos and receive a healing through this. I just hope that I can really and truly touch other people and people can touch me because y'all this ain't just about y'all i am so in need of a healing and when i tell y'all i am so so looking forward to it because every day i feel a little stronger but don't 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 get me wrong now i have my moments we all will but i i draw strength from that even through the hardships in my life they were still blessings because it's making me into the person that I supposed to be today. Like I said, I don't really talk like talking on camera. I don't like talking in front of people, but this is a message that I have to get out. Tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I can start back, but I'm gonna continue pushing y'all and encouraging y'all. And I ask y'all to please share comments and share little short stories and know that you're never alone. Actually, please, please like, share, and subscribe because you know what? You don't know how many people are really going through some things and they really, really need a, just a positive word. You know, I really, really, really am concerned about people and their mental health because I know how I felt and the things that I was going through and I really really want to touch on that and I I pray I pray I pray that God lets people be able to watch these videos and I pray that they receive what they need to receive from them and I pray that we can push this thing as far as it can go and we can really touch people and um I'll be doing my healing soon, but if anybody need a healing, just leave a, a message in the comments. I can do them over the phone, and to start out with, I'm just going to be charging $40 to start out with, but I'm going to start doing my healing, because like I said, I took this class, and I know that I can, because I did a couple of them that I didn't do a charge, I didn't charge for them, but I really got to get back on it, and I need to be healing myself, because that's the main thing you need to do, is you have to make sure that you're good too, so that you can be able to give back to people, but anyway, it's a wonderful feeling, because even when you're healing, when you do a little healing session on somebody, and don't even take long, you find healing in that, and I know, I remember Spiritual TT telling me that, but I find myself in tears, but I feel so good when I do one, I feel so, so good when I do healing so it really brings me a lot of joy and I know it's the right thing thing for me to be doing but anyway like I said I wish y'all love peace and blessings please like share and subscribe and continue watching these videos it don't matter if it ain't but two people I hope that everybody's receiving something positive out of these videos and I'm 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 healing through doing these videos I miss when I can't get on there and record and put these videos up. I really, really miss it because even though sometimes I come out of these things and I be crying myself, it'd be a breakthrough for me, y'all. It'd be a healing for me. But please, anybody that's walking around here with that nasty spirit of jealousy, pray that you be healed from that because it's not a good energy to be in. It wastes too much energy to be up there being jealous of somebody else's creativity, somebody else's gifts, somebody else's things that God blessed them with. It wastes too much energy. You need to be more happy for people because it makes no sense to keep on walking around in all that jealousy. That, that's when you need to be healed also. That's what I'm, 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 it ain't even just to be against people, but it's just to be honest. Jealousy is a real spirit and it's a dangerous one. It's very, very dangerous that we walk around here in jealousy and you don't want to die walking around in that jealousy, being a miserable person, not being able to be happy of nobody else's blessings. It's, it's, it's senseless. It's really senseless, but it's just, Human nature for some people, but not for everybody because a lot of people don't even feel the jealous bone in their body. They'd be so excited for somebody else's blessings. And that's how you should be 
in order for you to be able to be blessed. If you keep walking around in that energy, even if you up, it ain't going to be long because you can't walk around in the energy of jealousy like that and think you can be able to stay on top. It's just not going to work. And then you wonder why come all kind of things be happening to you. It ain't always people. Sometimes we bring this mess on ourselves. When I was over there moping and, 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 and groping about that vehicle and I jumped all off the subject, it got rape but you know why? When I look back, I say, because you know what? When God blessed me with it, the only thing I can look about is wonder what people going to think the, the, the kind of warfare I was going to go in instead of me knowing the, the, the queen that I am, that I could go into battle and war for it in the praying. I was put, let doubt and fear get in my way. And so I was, I was a lost cause before I ever got started. And I brought that on myself. I don't want to allow myself to get in that energy. You want nobody else. I can't blame nobody today, but myself for allowing myself to get in that energy allow my gift that god had gave me to be taken right out of my hand because i got in self-doubt and fear and i let that spirit in it might not have been really coming off nobody but i let it get in there because i had no i had been through so many other things so many strongholds so many spiritual battles i let it in though I can be the first one to say it, the last one to say it and the one in the middle to say it. i let that doggone spirit in i let my suv Get repo because I let this dark energy in because I needed to be healed. I needed to get out of that doubt, that fear, that lack, that poverty mentality, and be thankful and grateful and happy that I was even able to get this SUV. And when I sit back and think about it, I can just sit back and laugh at myself. You, you was nuts. For sitting up there, even letting that into your energy, into your circle. But what I learned since I got older and since I grow is I am thankful for everything God gave to me. Even for all the hardships I went up, went, went through. Even for the bad things that happened to me. God, I'm thankful. Because you built me for it tough. And I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the naysayers. I'm ready for people that ain't in my corner. I don't care. I'm going to prove to God. Because I was finna say the wrong thing. I'm going to prove to God that I am who he built me to be. And I want to be able to help other people that do want to help. Because it's a people out here that broken. That they do sincerely want to be healed. They just don't know the way. So if I know it, I'm going to share it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to sing about it. I'm going to dance about it. I'm going to do what makes me feel good at that time. And let y'all know y'all are not alone. There's people out there just like y'all, a lot of people, but people just don't want to talk about it. But I'm letting them skeletons out that closet, and I'm talking about this thing. And hopefully we can continue to heal together and talk about this and know we're not alone and share this so other people can heal y'all because people really hurting. We really, really, really have to love people. People really hurting and stand for people other people besides ourselves well anyway we may talk about that thing called jealousy again but trust and believe i'm not no jealous person but i was foolish for sitting in there worried about what jealous people could think say or do to me i tell you that being pretty foolish but anyways i done made this one a little long but i hope that y'all enjoy it like i said stay blessed stay strong stay encouraged like share and subscribe and know you're never alone there's always light at the end of a dark tunnel Mwah. love y'all take care stay focused stay encouraged stay blessed and stay moving those bodies <laughs>